Maybe I can narrow down her circles and figure out where she lives. The Kane family has turned their 56th floor Riverside penthouse into a search party headquarters. Hmm. That would be nice, 56 floors up. Talk about optimal sunlight. Don't look at me like that. Her mom died in childbirth. Father died before she was born. Following her father's footsteps, Kate attended Point Rock Academy. In and out of group homes, teen runaway, high school dropout. Ah, oh, wait a minute, this is juicy. Kate was dishonorably discharged weeks before graduation. In her statement, Kate said it's paradoxical to fight on behalf of an institution that sees my sexual orientation as the enemy. Okay, that's kind of badass. Arrested for possession and intent. Insisted the drugs weren't hers. And served 18 months. Under Pride Real Estate, she donated millions to inner city housing projects. Most recently, she opened the holdup a gay bar that she called a safe haven for anyone looking for their family. At her sentencing, the judge said that Ryan had been on the right track thanks to the woman who adopted her. Ryan graduated high school. She found a job. Everything fell apart after. Oh my God. <laughs> Apparently, when Ryan and her adoptive mom walked into their new apartment, they startled a bunch of squatters. A fight broke out. Building's landlord and Ryan's mom were killed. What the hell is this? Who are these people? I don't know. They just showed up. We need to get out of here now. The squatters were linked to the Alice in Wonderland gang. That's why she wants the suit to go after Alice. Because Alice's gang killed her mom. Kate's a hero. In the suit. <laughs> And out of the suit. You're right, Mama. What am I doing wearing the suit of a hero when I couldn't even save you? I mean, I get it. Her mom died in her arms. She wants justice. <laughs>